high, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful fall evening here on this gorgeous Tuesday evening, October 15, 2019. So I am now the proud owner of two, two, uh, little houses in floodplains. I've got little houses in floodplains from Texas to New York now. All right. <laughs> uh, I've got one for sale in Texas and one for rent in, uh, in New York. If anyone wants to rent or buy a house on a floodplain, I am the man to talk to. So, uh, you know, I have just been so buried with all of this the past week. I've I barely got to listen to the news and I, you know, I, I'm purposefully doing my best to ignore all of this shit, you know, the shit, you know, the shit we're talking about, the I word. I just don't want to get my uh, hopes up. Uh, you know, I mean, the, the bottom line is, and, and, and believe me, I am not... Uh, supporting Donald Trump on this, but I, my bigger question, just the basic eco-Nazi question, is, I, I mean, I don't really give a flying fuck about Joseph Biden or his son, uh, but what in the fuck was the Vice President of the United States under Barack Obama, what was he doing, he and his son both, working for a goddamn uh, fossil fuel <coughs> corporation in goddamn Ukraine. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> didn't, didn't Joseph, Joe Biden have enough to do with his life as being the vice president of the United States of America for eight years not to be on the board of a Ukrainian fossil fuel corporation. Now, this is some, some sort of gas company. So, I, I, I'm going to take a wild guess. It, it has something to do with fracking somewhere. <coughs> uh, there, there's a goddamn fracker when you, uh, when you scratch the surface. And, and of course, this is, uh, you know, the Democratic uh, vice president. It doesn't make any fucking difference, you know, when, when the goddamn Democratic vice president is making money off of uh, fossil fuels in Ukraine, uh, we're fucked. Uh, all, all the rest of it is, is a bunch of whatever, just, just little nitpicking details nobody's talking about. Uh, what the fuck uh, is the vice president of the U.S. doing, uh, ma making a bunch of money off a of, off of Ukrainian gas? Uh, I don't even want to know what the answer to that question is. Uh, so, and and my guess is. Uh, that that Donald Trump uh, it, it is probably uh, once again he's probably wrong. Uh, there's probably nothing illegal whatsoever about what uh, about what Joe Biden or his kid were doing. Fucking Ukraine or China. Uh, you know Donald Trump has a lot of goddamn room to talk uh, about doing deals. Uh, all over the goddamn planet. But speaking of Donald Trump and in, uh, in China, I, I, I did hear this interesting story I've been listening to, uh, to Marketplace, you know, NPR's little business program. Of, of course, uh, NPR, just like uh, Bloomberg and Forbes magazine, are, are very pro growth. It's just automatically assumed by goddamn NPR, uh, those little lefties over there, that what's good uh, for growth, I guess, is good for the fucking planet. So, 
I had never really heard it, it expressed in actual in, in actual dollar amount what this trade war you know that Trump uh, has going with China has cost the global economy well what it's cost the global economy is about 0 08 0 0.8 percent uh, of GDP for the for the year uh, was shaved off the global uh, industrial economy thanks to Donald Trump and what that translates into is approximately 800 billion dollars 800 billion dollars or they said about the size of the economy of the country of Mexico so it was basically like if Donald Trump had not gotten in this trade war with China it's like we would have had a country the size of Mexico more or more of this planet eating shit uh, that 800 billion dollars of uh, you know globally traded goods and services meaning uh, planet eating shit would would have been produced and consumed you know I have always said that eco Nazis ought to be cheering on Donald Trump that Donald Trump is the man you know to bring down global industrial civilization the first step of which is to bring down the uh, global economy and uh, Donald Trump is certainly uh, doing everything he can to bring down the uh, global industrial economy and I do really appreciate it Donald Trump keeping 800 billion dollars keeping the country of Mexico uh, out of Walmart is, is what it boils down to. Um, all of this uh, planet-eating shit that was never produced and bought and sold and we can thank Donald Trump uh, for that and this is why that eco-Nazis need to support Donald Trump. Uh, <laughs> You know, he is the man to uh, bring down global industrial civilization. So you go, Donald. And just one more I want to comment on. So then they did one of these, uh, you know, little, uh, you know, so, so they talk about how what a bad thing it is, what a bad thing it is to uh, do anything to uh, cool down the global industrial economy. Uh, and so then they have that and then they have one of these little limp dick uh, lefty greeny environmentalist stories about uh, about consumer and lifestyle choices about consumer and lifestyle choices you know saving the planet so what they were doing they were following the story of this very nice woman uh, this very nice woman uh, who has gone on a crusade with her family. She is a breeder. So this very nice mother got concerned about how much, uh, you know, garbage their, her family was creating, particularly single-use plastic. So she said about, what was it, four years ago to declare war on single-use plastic. And she claims, and I believe her, that she has eliminated 99% of the single-use plastic uh, out of her family's, uh, out of her family's trash can, essentially. Uh, and, and good for her. I mean, I'm absolutely cheering her on. But I was actually kind of surprised that the, that the reporter, you know, covering the story and interviewing her about her one-woman crusade, he, 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 you know, he, like, uh, she asked the woman, 
like you, you, you know cheering you on obviously anybody is going to support this woman but do you think this is going to make a, you know on the in the big picture is this going to make one goddamn bit of difference in saving the planet uh, and the woman, you know, the the mother of uh, these kids, uh, you know, she admitted uh, that it wasn't, uh, that she is the only person uh, in the country of England that she knows that's going to do this. And then the reporter said, well, are your kids going to do it? Uh, you know, when they, when they leave home, and they are, uh, and they no longer have their mother forcing them to do this. When they move out, do you think your kids are going to follow in your footsteps? Well, you could tell that the 16-year-old kid, the 16-year-old son, had no intention, zero intention of doing this. And uh, you know, so mom just said, you know, that's going to be their own decision. And you know goddamn well what their decision is going to be. They're going to uh, go right on doing uh, what they were doing their whole lives up until mom went on this crazy crusade, uh, well, you know, four years ago. Uh, is exactly what they're going to be doing. And, uh, you know, you take the carbon footprint of this woman's uh, the carbon environmental footprint of this woman's kids and then you add the carbon footprints of her grandchildren and then you add the carbon footprints of her grandchildren's children assuming that her grandchildren are going to have any children and uh, you, you see what a fucking joke it is you, you know the, these goddamn breeders a, a breeder to uh, declare war on single-use plastic. You know, it's like those, uh, that, that nurse, what was it, part of Extinction Rebellion, uh, that breastfeeding uh, thing they had with uh, breeders against global warming. Uh, yeah, protesting global warming by breastfeeding your fucking kid. You know, we're so fucked. We're so fucked. Uh, and of course, you know, NPR uh, just cheering uh, this woman on as I am. Uh, I am completely cheering on anybody to, uh, to bring down their uh, plastic use 99% and I have every intention of bringing down my use of plastic 100% the day that I die, uh, since I'm not a breeder, the day that I die, uh, my use of plastic that you can attribute to me will end the day I die, okay? And, and when this very nice woman who is making the consumer and lifestyle choice to uh, do this very admirable thing, the day she dies, her legacy of plastic use is going to keep right on going and will probably uh, increase dramatically as her children and grandchildren just go right on uh, about uh, the business that, that we all do. Um, you should have seen I got my uh, plastic recycling for the month. Well, for five weeks, I uh, I should have done a video this morning when I was taking my month of, you know, your old eco-Nazi taking his month's worth of, of plastic recycling. Uh, <laughs> We're so fucked. We're 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 completely, totally fucked. And uh, anyway, it is a gorgeous evening here in the end times, and I have to uh, get back to NPR news. 
to uh, NPR News to find out the uh, what those little lefties are up to saving the planet. Oh God, and there's some fucking, uh, oh shit, I think there's some democratic debate uh, going. Democratic debate. Pull your head out of your fucking ass. You notice that what this thing is that we've been seeing, obviously, is this chemtrail, uh, you know, spreading out. Chemtrails by sunset. Battle of chemtrails over the setting sun. I'm sorry, cap trails. Bye, guys. Down the hill we go. This is my last. This is my very last time down this hill. That is Seneca Lake, which you cannot see in the distance. One of the, the biggest Finger Lake is that one that you can't see. Uh, this will be my last time heading down this hill to Seneca Lake. It's been a fine month in the Finger Lakes. Get out there and enjoy your last trip down the hill. Well, you still can. Bye, guys.